On Friday, December 13th, news broke that China and the United States had reached a phase one trade deal. In that deal, the U.S. has agreed to cut in half tariffs imposed on $120 billion worth of Chinese goods from 15% to 7.5%. They have also canceled the new tariffs that were supposed to come into play on December 15th. In return, China will start purchasing more American goods, especially agricultural goods. They will also lower existing tariffs on American imports. They will do a better job at protecting intellectual property and will make it easier for U.S. businesses to access the Chinese financial sector. The deal was agreed upon a few days ago, but should be signed by both countries in early January and start taking effect in February. However, some aspects of the deal remain unclear. The U.S. has talked about China buying at least $40 billion worth of agricultural goods from American farmers annually. While China has not confirmed that number and seems to focus more on an increase in purchases that would comply with WTO rules and would be based on market forces. Another uncertainty remains and that is whether both parties will actually implement these changes in a successful manner. The United States will be watching China closely to make sure they don't deviate from the deal. If this phase one deal doesn't fall apart in the next few months, China and the U.S. should get together again to discuss a phase two. Phase two should include issues that are at the root of the trade war, such as the Chinese use of industrial subsidies, the unfair competitiveness coming from Chinese state-owned enterprises, and cyber theft. Donald Trump has mentioned the fact that he wanted to work on phase two right away. However, this will depend on the proper implementation of phase one and will definitely be a timely process. Trump, by acting overly optimistic regarding this deal, could be trying to boost his popularity, to please his base to influence the 2020 elections, but also to avoid the threat of impeachment that is looming over his head. Nevertheless, even if Trump likes to exaggerate, he is correct when he says that this phase one deal is good news for the U.S. economy, the global economy, and for global markets. However, this deal does not mean that the trade war is over, far from that. The actual economic impacts of this phase one deal on China, the U.S., but also the rest of the world should be pretty limited as the tensions between the two nations remain and the downside risk will continue to weigh on global trade, manufacturing and global economic growth.